Every day, first responders place themselves in harm's way to help or defend others. Untold stories of courage, valor, honor, and selfless service are made every day. Stories that need to get out. Stories that should be at the forefront of every news cycle, publication, or social media post. Stories where every second counts. Stories that make people shudder. Stories that have lasting impressions on the victims, the families, and witnesses. Stories of joy, stories of being reunited, close calls, and surprises. Then there's stories of sadness, loss, horror, failed attempts, and almost. Stories that are lived by our first responders every day. First responders do not do what they do for glory, attention, notoriety, or stardom. They are servants designed by God to take care of their fellow man. They are the forward ahead in uncertain situations. They are the pursuers of justice, saviors in time of need, the charge towards danger when everyone else flees. What is it in a man or woman that desires to serve others? I believe God instills in some the nature of selfless service. Jesus modeled selfless service to everyone he encountered and for us, even though we are separated by generations from the time of Jesus, Mark 10, 45 tells us, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as ransom for many. Matthew 23, 11 tells us, The greatest among you will be the servant. The heroes that we honor today were selfless servants. We honor these public servants so that their legacy lives on so that we can share in the memories of those that have gone before us. We honor their families because even though these selfless servants made the ultimate sacrifice, we know that their families have also sacrificed greatly. These families still carry the burden of loss that comes with sacrifice. We also honor the families today of those that went before us. Thank you spouses, children, parents, brothers, and sisters. You have paid a great price and experienced significant loss as a result. To the public, the public that we serve and protect, know that these men that we honor today have made the ultimate sacrifice for their Anderson County community. Their service and ultimate sacrifice should serve as a reminder that there are those that gave their lives while charging danger on your behalf. They charged it so you don't have to, and they did it willingly. I ask the public to keep their first responders in prayer and teach your children the value of selfless service and explain to them why we honor our heroes that have made the ultimate sacrifice for us in Anderson County. Father, we come to you to stay on this solemn occasion. Lord, remember the cost of uh, what it takes for us to have freedom, have safety even in our county. We thank of those who has paid the ultimate price today. And Lord, I know that for some, time has gone by for many years, but Lord, the memory and the heartache and the scars are still there. And God, we remember ourselves many times of having to go and, and uh, see people who gave up their, their life that we could have life today. We pray, Lord, for a, a prayer of thanksgiving for those who gave it all. We pray, Lord, for those whose families are here today and we honor them today. We do pray for uh, Trooper Redmond's family tonight. Uh, I know, Lord, their hearts hurting and aching. And I pray, Lord, you'd comfort them. Lord, Lord, once again, thank you for our freedom. And God, again, we just uh, pay respect and give honor to those who pay the price we could have it. In Jesus' name, amen. The reason that these kind of events are important, or, you know, it, it goes back to some of my history. Uh, my roommate at the academy was Chris Taylor. And, you know, I kind of look at where I'm at today and where would Chris be at today? Um, I remember the night that I got the phone call two o'clock in the morning come out and we had to go out and look for his killer. Um, you know, I, I, there's not hardly a day that in my career I go by and I don't think about Chris. You know, he, he was uh, a young man, just got married, had a baby on the way, the house was being built and it was just a senseless tragedy. You know, we never forget those folks. Um, all through my career, I've lost three good friends now. One um, in a shooting, one in a car accident, and one uh, just hit as a pedestrian, uh, just helping somebody out on 81 South. 
um, you never forget them. And they gave the ultimate um, sacrifice for this job, and I think it's important that we remember them each year. Uh, that's special to me in law enforcement. We also have the same in fire and EMS. Um, we, we, we take aside this day each year just to honor them. How do you think Chris would feel about this event? Um, one of the last things he ever told me, he says, you ever have a problem, you just give me a call. I'll help you with it. And you know what? He probably would say the same thing today. If I'm having a problem, just give him a call. So, yeah, he always had a great sense of humor. Um, always cut up and was a really good friend. What can folks who might watch this do to show their support for local, the local first responders, law enforcement, the fire department, the, the police and sheriff's department? All I would say, you know, just when you're going down the road, just throw your hand up and wave. Uh, see us out eating somewhere. Don't be afraid to come speak to us. Um, you know, as I tell everybody, you know, we got children in this community just like you do. We want to see Anderson succeed, and we want to see our law enforcement succeed. So uh, just shout out and say hello. You raised your hand and you took an oath to pledge your life in the words you spoke. Well, you know, here we're here today to honor those that have sacrificed uh, the greatest sacrifice uh, here in Anderson County. So this is exclusively uh, heroes that have given their lives and the ultimate sacrifice for our county. Uh, both uh, firemen, police officers. So it's, it's just very important that people come out and uh, and and just you know share in, in the memories and. And, uh, and respect the, the fallen. Well, I think praying for us, you know, pray for the first responders and, and make sure that they just uh, know and appreciate and teach their kids uh, about what we do and why we're here and, uh, and the purpose of what we do on a daily basis.